Okay, in uh, week one this week in Cisco One, we looked at two tools that we're going to be using in CCNA One um, to do our work. And one of the tools is right here, it's uh, Wireshark. And what I did was, I didn't open the tool yet, I just went to a web browser, Internet Explorer, to the web address wireshark.org, and you can download it. Here's Get Wireshark, just click right here, and there's a Windows installer. And if you click right here, you can download hit save, download it to your desktop. I've already got it downloaded here so I'll cancel and I'll show you it. Alright, so here it is. I've got it right here. I'm just gonna run the installer and walk you guys through the process. Um, and actually what I'm gonna do is maybe run it as an administrator. Run as administrator. Allow Next, I agree. Next, next. I'm just going to hit the defaults on everything. Um, um, I'm going to turn off. I'm just going to do it like that. All right. And um, win PCAP, I need to install that also, this win PCAP also needs to be installed for uh, Wireshark to work. All right, and hit next, I need to install that. Next, I agree. Taking you through the installation process here. Here's Wireshark installing. All right, and I'm gonna run Wireshark. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put my browser down, and here's Wireshark, and this is basically how Wireshark works. It's a uh, it says it's a, a network analyzer. I've always called these types of things packet sniffers. It's going to grab packets off the network and let us look at them. So how do you use it? Well, this is the basic way you use it. You go to um, capture, and first you look at your interfaces, and here's my interfaces, and you can see here that. Um, I've got a few different interfaces. There's my Ethernet interface, right? I'll plug that in. It's not even active yet, so I better plug it in. All right, and right off the bat, when I plugged in my, my Ethernet uh, the cable into my Ethernet NIC, you can see it's already seeing packets that are happening here. See packets. So all I have to do is click Start right here, and I'll start capturing packets. So I hit Start, and then I'll open up this um, Wireshark website, and I'll go to my, my website or you know something like that. You can go to Sheridan.edu or you know I can go to Yahoo.com. Right, go to Yahoo. There you go. I just opened up Yahoo. And you can see the whole time I'm capturing packets here really fast. So now capture interfaces. I need to stop. Right? I need to stop capturing. Um, oops. Capture interfaces. Stop. Alright. So I just stopped. So now I'm done capturing. Um, I'm done capturing uh, packets here. And if if I scroll through, you can see I, I captured lots and lots and lots of packets. Um, how many packets did I capture? I captured looks like number 619. Looks like I captured 619 packets, right? That were just that were hitting my NIC, hitting my network interface card, my Ethernet port and I've captured them. Well, this is useful because in Cisco we're going to be learning about all these protocols and the different layers of the OSI model and by analyzing these packets this is about as close as we can get to actually touching the stuff. The Cisco curriculum and networking is so abstract, you know, it's like all these theories and layers and protocols, right? And you say, well, what's this protocol, TCP or IP? It's very abstract, but um, in this way, this is as close as we can get to almost touching it. We can analyze each different packet and, and figure out what it does by capturing that packet, looking at that packet. So this, it's kind of fun. The, the, only, the only way you can get any closer is by um, sticking your tongue in the socket and letting the uh, electricity, the voltage, hit your tongue. And, and that's, about any, that's about as close as you could get to uh, touching the packets. So like right here, we can see here, we'll just analyze some of these packets, right? We see that um, 
this right here is a uh, packet 276 is from source IP address 216 this is probably from you know maybe from Yahoo or something like that maybe uh, maybe Yahoo was much later we'll go down here um, from 216.115.104.240 right to 10.2.39.52 well I know that I'm on a private network and that we use the 10 as our private network space so this is probably me right here and this is from a web server somewhere right to my computer right and if I scroll over you see here TCP protocol right and it'll tell me a little bit about that TCP protocol right over here we see this is a HTTP also from the same from a similar uh, place here to my computer and this is port 80 right and this is a this is port 80 this is a HTTP this is a web page that I'm receiving okay um, and it looks like it's a uh, picture it's a piece of a picture here um, so by analyzing this is what we're going to learn how to do in Cisco networking one is is to look at these packets and talk about some of these things here all right